Friday, Friday. Well, not really. It's not Friday. It's actually Monday, but with my work schedule, Mondays are my Fridays. So, crossing our fingers that today goes by really, really fast and people aren't like on some other stuff and I can just breeze. You saw, you saw how smooth that was? Breeze right on through this day so that I can get to my two days off of peace and relaxation. Boys are at school. Dropped them off this morning. Spring break is officially over. Hallelujah. Amen. Um, and I think I'm going to save it for tomorrow. I was going to try to like run to the dollar store today. Well, no, I need to go. I have to go. So we're about to run to the dollar store before I have to go to work because Tom Tom's birthday is Saturday and he wants to have like a little bowling get together. So I need to go get birthday invitations so he can give them out tomorrow to his few little classmates that he wants to invite. And I know you're probably like, but you should invite the whole class. No, no, not at all. As much as Tom Tom comes in this house and talks about, oh, so-and-so had a party and he didn't get an invitation. Like, listen, son, listen, I'm going to need you to learn at a very young age. You don't have to like everybody and everybody does not have to like you. You don't have to associate with everybody. You, you, you don't. Okay. You just don't. So, I mean, call it petty, but it's not really like it's protecting your inner peace. <laughs> Listen, I don't like you. You really don't mess with me like that. Why is we even going to fake the funk? And why am I going to invite you to my party? So that being said, I still need to go get some invitations so that he can invite his little friends. So let's go to the dollar store. Guys, so we went to the dollar store. I forgot to record my phone because as I was walking in, there was a, um, a homeless man like sitting in front of the store and he just caught me off guard because he was like ma'am could you get me a bag of chips and I was taken aback because you know normally it's like do you have any spare change or anything like that but he just asked for some chips so I was like okay you know what's your favorite and he was like it doesn't matter like I just want some food and I was like okay so I got him two um he ended up saying that his favorite was Pringles so I got him to uh which actually makes more sense because i feel like you get more pringles in a can than you do chips in a bag so it's smart of him so i got him two um cans of pringles one cheddar one original and then i got him uh two sodas and a bottle of water so he didn't tell me what kind of soda he wanted so i just got him like a pepsi and a sprite because you know dark or clear at this point so and then the water because you know water is life we all need water so yeah so we went to the dollar store and that's why you guys didn't see it but now we're about to go in sam's because like i said tom tom's birthday is on saturday and he said he wanted a venom party and at first i was like it's gonna be really hard to find stuff for a venom party tom tom and then when we came to sam's for me to order the cup the cupcakes they didn't have a venom theme like you know how they normally have their little book of all the themes you can pick they didn't have a venom theme so he ended up picking um how to train your dragon and he was really disappointed about it and you know i can't do that to my baby so i ordered went on good old amazon never lets me down went on amazon tried to find a party store but i'm not driving all around god's green earth looking for a party city so Amazon came in clutch, found this wonderful picture right here, assortment of Venom birthday stuff. And now I'm about to go into Sam's to cancel the How to Train Your Dragon cake that I ordered because I couldn't even get cupcakes. Like I could only get the How to Dra Train Your Dragon theme on a 10 inch round cake. So I'm going to go in here, cancel that and just do an order of like 15 cupcakes because again, it's not going to be that many of us go into the bowling alley order some cupcakes with just white and red icing because as y'all saw again in the venom picture it's red black and white are the colors his favorite color is red anyway so that's what we're about to do and then i went into walmart and i got him these toys that he said he wanted i have never heard of these things ever in my life but thank you youtube because 
they be coming to me talking about all these toys that I've never heard of nor seen a commercial for. But these things, a Gujitsu, something, something, I don't know, it was $2. Like, the sign said it, it was 10 So, at first I had only got him the one that he asked for because it said it was $10. But then when I went to go check out, it only rang up $2. I politely turned myself around, got all the kinds. You want them? You can get Thrash and Tri Tops and Tyro, all the names. I know them all now because they're $2. <laughs> so, yes, I got these for my baby. I got his birthday gift bag, all that kind of stuff. And then I'll leave, I think he said he wanted like a Beyblade toy and something else. I'll leave that for his father to get. So, yeah. Let's go cancel this cupcake order. Because it's right now... 11 15 and i have to be clocking into work at 12 so hurry hurry drea hurry hurry it is so beautiful outside and once again i'm gonna be inside at work ain't that about a bitch let me tell y'all about my god wait a minute like let me situate myself get it together Can I tell y'all about my Jesus? Like, he is a bad man. He is a bad man. And he's pretty. Like, don't put it in drive. Dre, get yourself together. Reverse. We're reversing. Reverse. So, I had, I think I told y'all that I had signed the boys up for aftercare. Where, like, they go to, like, the, basically, like, the boys and girls club on base and after school since I work the afternoon and night shift and then their dad doesn't technically get off work until like 3 34 o'clock but they get out of school at 2 30 so all right Dre that's a curb um I'm just so excited y'all so they had called us like the end of the beginning of the month to tell us that like oh a spot had opened at the center for Tom Tom for him to start aftercare and he's supposed to actually start on Thursday cool thank you Lord but because that particular after school center that Tom Tom goes to they only do let me roll up my window so y'all can hear me without the wind what I have AC stop playing with me here we go because y'all it is hot today like <laughs> it's hot but anyway so they split the kids into like by age group to go to different centers so tom tom center only goes from first grade up until fifth grade so theo since he's only in kindergarten he can't go to that um same center as tom tom so he has to go to another center and they hadn't called about a spot opening up for him but because my God is an awesome God, all right? He came through in the midnight hour, just super clutch, and just got a call today in Sam's. They're like, oh, hey, a spot has opened for Theo. So yay. So now I'm gonna call, I'm making an appointment to go do like the enrollment um, little meetup. Do I want to take B Street? No, I don't want to take B Street. You gotta do like a little enrollment. They take you through the center, show you what everything looks like, blah, blah, blah. Listen, because I had to take them both to Tom Tom Center to turn in Tom Tom's uh, medicine. And Theo got really excited, like, oh, we're gonna be going here. This is gonna be so much fun. And I didn't have the heart to tell him, like, a spot hasn't opened for you yet. So I don't think you're gonna be going here. But God, okay, but God came through and said, I got you, son. Like, I got you. So now Theo's going to be going to aftercare as well. So now I need to call. I'll have to save that for my break today. Call the school bus, whatever, because they get dropped straight off from uh, the bus, straight from school. They get on the bus, and the bus takes them straight to aftercare. So I filled out the paperwork. 
but they, you don't get a call back like it tells you on the website that you're not going to get a call back to tell you whether or not you've been accepted to ride the bus you have to like download an app like they're just doing the absolute most for no darn reason what would it hurt you to send an email or a phone call like a carrier pigeon something to just say hey you did this properly or you didn't fill out the paperwork correctly and we need this and this like really like, but whatever whatever I'm just gonna call them like I'm just gonna call them so yay now I'm on my way home rushing on my way home because it's now 11 31 so we are going to run to the house grab my lunch yeah have something to drink I got from the Dallas store yeah so I'm just grabbing my lunch running in the house grabbing my lunch and then we'll just go to work and then I'll just wait until my shift starts but y'all I'm so excited like when you ask God to show up that man shows out like not only does he come through but he shows off because I was really thinking that I was going to have one child go into aftercare and one child that we still had to pick up and bring home and Theo would have been all sad and disappointed and I really didn't want to go through that and then in Sam's y'all go to the bakery cancel the order for the round cake order the cupcakes and the girl was like oh um like so you just want white and red who is calling me I don't even know you If I can find a picture of his um, one-year-old picture, I'll try to post that like over here, but it was coming to America theme and my baby walked in on some rose petals. Like it was, it was an event. <laughs> but as he's gotten older, I don't know. I fell off with the party, birthday party stuff. I need to get back on my game, but yeah. So we did a lot. We got a lot accomplished. I feel so achieved. If I had time, like, cause it's 11.35 right now, I don't wanna chance it. No, I'll just do that tomorrow. Tomorrow's my day off, so I'll go and do that tomorrow. Of going to the actual bowling alley and reserving the lanes. Because we're gonna need at least two. So, maybe three to be on the safe side. We'll reserve three lanes for two hours, I think that's like 60 bucks. Get my ID together. Hello. Step out some love. Thank you, have a great day. Thank you. know what I'm supposed to say to that like every time you come on base they always have their little saying that they say to you like he just said steadfast in love what are you supposed to say <laughs> what am I supposed to say back like at Fort Stewart it was rock of the marn like what am I supposed to say I 
or maybe he didn't say love. Maybe it's, I think it's steadfast and loyal. I don't know. I, I don't even know. Y'all don't get me to lying. I don't know what is happening. I'm just trying to get to the house to get my darn food. All right. So since it's on my way to work, is this it? Yes, this is it. I am stopping by the um, thrift store that we have here on base at Fort Carson, which I think, let me, is the best thing ever. But it's like on a little side street and I always miss it, but I made it today. So I have some jeans and stuff that I can no longer fit. So I'm going to drop these off in here. Like, look at me, y'all. Check me out. Helping the man at Dollar Tree. Donating clothes and such. Like, I'm so philanthropic today. Like, just... Uh. Those pants that um, I had got from Rainbow that I told y'all didn't fit donated <laughs> here they are right here the mom jeans it wasn't meant to be donated somebody else can wear these but I'm gonna go drop these off they have like shipping containers and they leave them open um 24 7 even though I, last time I was here they had a sign on it saying that they were gonna be shutting it at 8 o'clock now and locking it because people have been stealing the stuff like, how, do you, how are you stealing from the thrift store? Like, just... But, un momento. But actually, never mind, because I'm just going to bring y'all along and show y'all. Okay, so here it is. Their little shipping container. And you just come in, and you drop your stuff. They donate in formula. I don't know if you can do that. So, yeah, just sit that there. Like so... To smile, you're on security camera. There we go. There's a little sign. Uh, oh. And there's a thrift store over there. And everything is like really, really reasonably priced in there. So, it is now 11.50. Damn, time flies. So off to work I go. For real this time. For real, for real. Good morning, guys. Okay, so we have a lot to get done today. Like, a whole lot. My first day off, um, it's Tuesday, and we just have a ton to get, to get done. Okay, so right now it is about, it's going like 7.50-ish. I don't know. We don't have a clock in our room. But the last time I looked at the clock, it said it was 7.50. And then I went to the bathroom. And I want to say this like two, three minutes later. So it's like 7.55, 8 o'clock-ish, whatever. Um, But I have to first, I want to get a little workout in. So... I'm still like in my pajamas, but that's cool because like, you know, you sweat and stuff and then I'll go hop in the shower. So gonna actually I need to put on like a sports bra because nighttime I let the girls be free. OK, they're free when we sleep. So I need to put on a sports bra and then we're going to go do a little workout downstairs. And then after the workout, get dressed and get ready for our um, the car appointment to go get the oil change and to get my back brake light fixed. Because that is out and I don't need no tickets. Okay? No tickets. Um, not trying to play the city of Colorado Springs. Any money. None at all. So, car appointment is at 9.30. And then after car appointment, I need to go to the pharmacy to see if Theo has a refill on his albuterol. So that he can have medicine to take to the aftercare center. Um... It was crazy because I called the pharmacy yesterday on my lunch break 
to see if he had a refill. And like, as soon as I got a person on the phone, after five minutes of talking to robots and pressing buttons, finally got a person on the phone, gave her his information. She was looking it up in the system. And then before she could give me a reply as to whether or not he had a refill available, hangs up. And by that time, it was time for my break to be over and I had to go back to work. And of course, my next break, their office was already closed. So I'm just going to go drop by, like pop up. Since their phones just be hanging up on people when they're trying to get information. So we're just going to go pop up there at the pharmacy to get his medication. And then if everything goes smoothly and I have time, I really want to go get my nails done today. Like y'all, I have to actually like go officially get my nails done because the press-ons, they're not working. Like they're not working anymore. Like twice, twice my nails have come off while, well, once it was while I was dealing with the customer, like my nail got caught. They had like this giant container of kitty litter and it's so heavy that I'm trying to like slide it across and my nail got caught somehow. And next thing I know, the nail pops off. The customer like almost caught it. It was so embarrassing. So embarrassing. Then the second time I was doing something else, but this time it wasn't with the customer. It was with a coworker. I was doing something else with them. I felt that like I heard the nail snap. It got again caught on something. Pops off and like goes down my coworker's blouse. <laughs> like the trajectory of it all. Like it managed to find because she had a little button up, but then she had the top button unbuttoned and the nail found that opening and went straight down her blouse. So I'm just going to go get my nails professionally and officially done because ain't nobody got time for nails to be coming off and whatnot. It's, it's no, it's a no. So go get my nails done and my eyebrows done because as y'all can see, it's been a minute. Like I haven't trusted anybody getting that close to my face, you know, with corona out here doing the most and stuff so i haven't gotten my eyebrows done and i don't know how to do them on my own like you know how people use the little razor pen thing or whatever i don't know how to use them so instead of messing my eyebrows up i just let them do their own thing and be bushy and stuff but it's time to tame them so go get my eyebrows done um and yeah I think that maybe all we may be able to get done today before it's time to pick up the boys, of course. But yeah, so we're going to try to work on this little to-do list and see how that goes. So yeah, let me put my sports bra on and get to doing my workout so that we can get this show on the road. I have never seen such in all my life. Colorado's weather is ridiculous like it's just plain old ridiculous yesterday it was hot like truly hot windy super windy but hot today it is snowing how how like there is no in between with colorado's weather it's either nice and beautiful or it's snowing like make it make sense Okay, but we are on our way to Firestone so that I can get my oil changed. Which honestly, checking my car because it tells me like what my oil level is on. My oil level is at, come on, 40%. So technically, I don't really need to get my oil changed right now because like I'm just under 50% but I don't know I feel like I need to do it because it's been a minute like after making that long trip down here from Jersey I never got an oil change after that and I just feel like it's time. Okay, take you back to your normal screen. 123. 688. Okay, so I'm like. Come on, cars. 
I'm like 500 miles away from what the little sticker that they put in your windshield after you get an oil change. I'm 500 miles away from when it says I need to get an oil change. So whatever, just gonna get an oil change. And thankfully Firestone isn't too far from my house either. one of the perks of living on an army base they really try to put everything that you need right at your fingertips and I greatly appreciate it so while I'm getting this oil change I can probably stop inside of the bowling alley because they are right next door to each other to see exactly how much it's gonna cost for a Tom Tom's little party and I so mad because on the invitation I put from 11 to 2 and that is not what I meant like I'm not trying to be at the bowling alley for that long because remember I still have to work so I was supposed to put from 11 to 1 and only have it be for two hours but I put it for three hours and I have to be to work that day at 2 30 <sighs> So more than likely, I'll just have to turn in my, um, they call them passion awards, but basically like if you do something at work and as a reward, like if a customer um, says you did something nice for them or whatever, like your manager will give you an award, which is like an hour of paid time, of paid leave basically. So, I got a passion award. So I guess I'm gonna have to use it for Saturday. So that way I can arrive an hour after my shift is supposed to start. All right. And where? I don't know, they're about to pull it out of the spot anyway, so it doesn't have to be perfect. All right, let me grab a mask. I got these little disposable crown masks from Amazon. They're so cute. All right. So, what with a little bit of time to spare, it is 9.25, point is at 9.30, bam. All right, so emergency fund, no, I don't need you. Car maintenance, here we go. Let's double check how much money. 50, 100, 50, 200, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20, 30. So $330. It shouldn't cost more than that, hopefully, for an oil change and fixing a back brake light I'm hoping but just in case just in case we will take in emergency fund as well just in case all right let's put these away put these on the floor hide them Grab my jacket, off, let's go inside. Okay, so never mind. Um, so apparently they had a lot Apparently they had a lot of knock and ninth appointments that showed up. Like she said it like it was a surprise. But how is that possible? Like y'all are the ones who make the appointments. So if you knew that you booked too many people for 930. Anyway, so they ended up changing my appointment to one o'clock. So that way I don't have to wait here. She said that wait was going to be like two to two and a half hours before my car even got back there so yeah I got other stuff to do today I'm not 
about to sit there and just wait for an oil change. So, oil change is paused. And now we're just gonna head straight to the pharmacy. Once I Google it, because I don't know where it is, to see about Theo's prescription. Alright, so today has to be like it's 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 crazy is what it is. So go to the pharmacy and I'm asking all the questions that I was asking to the lady on the phone before they hung up yesterday. And apparently Oh, I don't even need to turn on there. I can just go straight, it appears. And they're like, the lady, first off, like, she had an attitude. For what purpose, I do not know. Like, ma'am, I just got here. Please don't bring that energy this way. But I'm, like, just checking to see if there is a refill available for Theo. Oh, there is nothing active, ma'am. Like... You're lucky I'm saved, like, and it's early, is what I thought in my mind. So I go upstairs to pediatrics, and the guy, you know, receptionist, does some clickety clack clacks on his computer, and he's like, oh, I put in a note for them to refill his albuterol, because I'm like, you know, he has an asthma action plan. If he didn't have a prescription for his albuterol then why would the doctor fill out an asthma action plan like that doesn't make sense so he puts in a note for the doctor to write in a refill because they only wrote it for one albuterol what like the original prescription after Theo had his first official asthma attack and had to go to the emergency room they only wrote it for one albuterol and that was months ago but they didn't write it for it to have any refills. So he wrote in the note for them to apply refills to it. So he said I should get a phone call by this afternoon. Like everything is real late. <laughs> everything is just happening in the afternoon. So now I have to wait on a phone call from pediatric office to tell me that he now has refills available and that I can go fill it. So, that's something else that we wanted to get done today, but didn't really get done. Oh, and I need to add going to the beauty supply store onto the list because I would like to put my hair back in some braids so that I can forget about it for a while. And so, I need to go to an official beauty supply store so that I can get the braiding hair. Because I don't feel like waiting on Sam's Beauty and for stuff to come in the mail. okay so two things semi checked off the list all right so pharmacy check car appointment sort of kind of check um, what else do we need to do first I need to go back to the house and get gloves and a hat because it is freezing outside like just walking back to my car from the hospital, my hands were frozen and it didn't help that I had this Frappuccino in my hand. I stopped to get some Starbucks before we left the hospital. They didn't even give me an option for the size. Like they just gave me the Fenty, Fenty, the Venti size cup. And I didn't even ask for it. Like, I guess they knew what I needed. I told y'all, I don't correct people who handle my food or have their hands in my head. This is what I wanted. I just didn't know it. Oh, we need to go to the bowling alley. But I'm dead serious. I'm getting gloves and a hat first. Made it to the beauty supply store. Oh. Oh. Are you open? All right. Sign says open the ball, y'all. Um. 
Okay. Short, sweet, and to the point. Um. Oh, bag just broke. I got it. I don't know if y'all can see that. But I got it in T350. No. T530. Sorry, I had a little dyslexic moment. So I got four packs of the pre-stretched combination value pack whatever I got a big head which is why I got four packs and even if I don't use it at least I'll have extra hair for another time so got four packs and it costs in total plus I got some um the hair was $7.99 per pack and then I got some more um Jamaican black castor oil, extra dark, which was $8.99. And then I got another edge brush, which was $1.99. So plus tax in total, it came to $46.48. So bam. One thing officially checked off the list. And the pharmacy did call me and lickety split. They were able to put in for the new refill so I can go pick that up when we get back on base um but it's right now it is 1106 so i don't know if that's going to be enough time to get my nails done but i can at least go get my eyebrows done so i'm not going anywhere special like i don't know any place out here where like that's like highly recommended so i'm just going to go to the nail salon that is inside of walmart i mean yeah that's where we're going and it's really like on the way home, so it'll be like full circle. Once we leave Walmart, we can just get straight back on base. And then it'll be time for our car appointment at one o'clock. And I can actually go to the pharmacy before I go to the car appointment. And then while my car is getting worked on, I'll walk over to the bowling alley to inquire about how much that'll cost for Tom Tom's birthday party on Saturday. So, yay for getting stuff done and accomplishing things on your to-do list all right hopefully i can get out this way oh there's even a family dollar back here who knew you know this store was like off in the cut like my gps made it seem like it was so easy to get to like when I got close, it was just your destination's on the right. It didn't say that it was in the back of the back of this shopping center where like half the stores are closed. And no, I cannot get out this way. I cannot. All right, let me try to figure this out. I don't know if you guys can see them. Eyebrows all done. Felt like she left a little wax on my face for a second, but no. All done. I honestly kind of want to look up uh, microblading. Because you get it done and have it last for however long. Instead of always having to get my eyebrows waxed. And then I just wouldn't have to think about it. But I wouldn't even know where to begin to look into how you get microblading done. So now it is 12, 8, 12 11. So we are going to go on post and run to the pharmacy. And after we run to the pharmacy, we'll be headed to Firestone again to get this oil change and I got Madeline's from Starbucks when I got my drink earlier so all right yeah right here still a little sticky but that's okay I have oil and some cotton balls at home that I can just wipe that off with but we are back at Firestone and let me, I have to pee. I should have gone pee first. I'll pee when I get to the bowling alley. 
But we're at Firestone. We're on take two. Take two. So we're going to try this again. But let me get in here before she say a whole lot of people showed up for their one o'clock appointments and try to push me back even further. Oh, Lord. Good morning, family. So it is Wednesday now. Um, I'm like half, not half, more than halfway finished braiding my hair. It was supposed to be twists, but it, it wasn't working. So I just had to switch to good old braids. Um, but right now we are on our way to back to Walmart to get my nails done because I didn't have enough time yesterday to get that done. So I just got my eyebrows done yesterday. I made an appointment while I was there for today. So it is now you know, 10.50. My appointment is at 11. So go in. Just getting a full set. Like I know what I want. I'm hoping that they'll be able to do what I want and that it won't cost me a fortune. That's why I love to press on so much I could get like a real expensive look for $7. But the downside is they don't last. They don't last very long at all. Even with super glue, damn things do not last. So going to get my nails done. Um, and then hopefully it won't take more than an hour. Like I'm crossing my fingers that it won't take more than an hour. Because at 12, we have to go back on base because I have a tour and like an orientation for Theo's little aftercare program. All right, y'all. And I'm back. Y'all want to see my nails? Like I'm so like, <laughs> y'all see that? I didn't get a damn thing. I get in there just in time for my appointment or whatever they are packed like packed six people are already in there they got three people at the like they even set it up to where they have their tables like one's right here and then another one's right on the side of it like you know like how those desks are they have their tables set up like that. So they're actually trying to do two clients at one time. One sitting on each side of the table with like the little plastic plexiglass, plexiglass, plexiglass screens. Oh, this is good. Yo, I'm not going to lie. The Walmart brand lemonades and juices are bomb. But six people, like, I never understand businesses, like doctors, all of that stuff. Why do y'all make appointment times? Like, why? Because you never follow your appointment times. You should know how long it takes you to do a certain service. And so if you know that it takes you like an hour and a half to do a full set for somebody then your appointment should not be like your appointment should at least be a two hour gap it gives the person if their appointment is at 11 then from to 12 30 you know that you are doing that service and then give yourself another 30 minutes to sanitize get your life in order and get ready for the next customer like why they do the appointments back to back to back is beyond me so like, I went in there, was like, oh, you know, I have an appointment. And I'm looking at all the people, like, these all can't just be walk-ins. Like, this is insane. And they're like, oh, just have a seat. They sit me down at one of the tables. So I'm like, okay, well, maybe they're still just, they are walk-ins. They're still just going to, you know, take me before everybody else because I had booked an appointment. No. It was a No big no like really just sat me down and gave me their little bucket so that I could choose what gel colors I wanted and then a whole half an hour goes by and I'm still just sitting in this chair holding a bucket So I politely set that little bucket down and walked myself right on out. I don't got time. 
do not have time. Like, they need better time management skills. And this is like my first time trying to get my nails done out here. So this was a learning experience. They might do some really great nails in there, but I will never know because I will never be back. Like, and then on top of it, you have six people, but you only have two nail techs. And then one of the nail techs was also the only person who was given pedicures. Like, what is happening? When I made my appointment, y'all had an appointment book. Like, it was somebody's daughter or niece or somebody. She's the one who scheduled my appointment. Nobody else looks at this appointment book to know that y'all are highly overbooked and understaffed. Why would y'all schedule so many people knowing that you had so few nail stylists available? Like, that doesn't make any sense. My favorite line is, make it make sense, Jesus. And they need him because it, it made no sense. Absolutely no sense. Ugh. So the after school pr program called me. So I don't want to be late for that. So I'm just going to go there, do that, and then just handle stuff around the house. And my nails will just have to be for whatever, for however else long. Like, oh boy. It's just not meant to be. So before I go pick up the boys, um, I decided to come to Dollar Tree because I still need to pick up some more invitations because Tom Tom has two more friends that he would like to invite. Plus, I wanted to get some stuff for uh, Easter dinner. Um, so, yeah, we're at the big Dollar Tree. Let me swing it around so you guys can see. Yeah, so we are at the big Dollar Tree. And we're going to go inside, see what they have to offer. Because the one that's, like, kind of closer to our house, they always look like they just got robbed. Like, the shelves are really sparse most of the time and then like I hate the parking situation so I'm going to try the big dollar tree today see what they have okay dollar tree
like full size unstoppables. Can I take you there? Can I take you there?